fit it all the way back see the machine in there they don't actually make this machine anymore this is this machine's huge they most people wouldn't buy it because it was too big so they do make cool machines make the machine it's just a little bit smaller which is fine but we're spoiled rotten with this big huge machine we got our water tank over here and water pump this is our water line here going to a two jet uh, cool machine nozzle and then you can see the size of that equipment that holds about 20 to 25 dry bags in it and then the left side over here is the recycle so the recycle you see the vacuum here's the vacuum it's going into the vacuum input down into its little caged area then it meets back in the shredder box that airlock area so pretty simple one size uh, wrench will work on everything on this thing so really smartly designed uh, got to change the airlocks in it about every six months that way you keep a really good tight air seal in there so it's pulling material out instead of kind of pushing it back up into the hopper that also slows you down so if you just every six months or so change those seals this thing will spray bags as fast as you possibly want it to this is the feed line so this is where the mix of recycle and dry comes out of See it flowing through there. So you have to turn it way down when you're doing walls because you you do it like you're doing an attic, it would just be too much material. Yeah. There's this vacuum hose right there. 